A brief review of the 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLS, fits 7 people. The 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLS 450 has room for six passengers and ample luggage space behind the third row. I loaded the GLS 450 with six of my friends, meaning a total of seven people in this car. Starting with an hour-long drive from the airport and followed by a long weekend exploring the Rocky Mountains, the GLS proves that it is still an excellent road cruiser with some of the best active safety on the market. made for the highway. Few vehicles can go as smoothly as the GLS. On the initial 60-mile journey between Denver Airport and Colorado Springs, and back, the GLS is an excellent road companion. The leather seats are very comfortable for me and my front passenger, the suspension is soft and springy, and the sound insulation is excellent. Top Class Security. Another positive sign to the GLS's rangeability is its standard range of active safety equipment. Adaptive cruise control paired with lane centering technology makes hour-long road trips even in slippery conditions a breeze. The GLS applies throttle and braking input smoothly as needed and does not make aggressive changes in lane. Cool design. Mercedes is taking its EQ SUV lineup in a different design direction, but the smaller GLS and GLE are still two of the best-looking luxury SUVs on the market. Sure, there are better paint options available than diamond white. On this tester I preferred cardinal red, but the optional 23-inch AMG wheels are stylish, body lines are clean and less boxy, and the overall look is elegant without feeling overwhelming. not the broadest. Compared to other models, such as the BMW X7 or nearby Range Rover, the GLS actually has pretty good numbers on paper. The 17.4 cubic feet of space behind the second row are among the best in class, and even the 38.9 inches of headroom and 34.6 inches of legroom in the third row are decent. My biggest task, though, is trying to shove seven people and their luggage into a vehicle that seems to prefer one or the other, not both. If you're looking for a three-row built for road trips with six other adults, you may still want to opt for a larger car. The GLS favors a smaller crowd and less trunk than something like an extended Cadillac Escalade or a Lincoln Navigator which is a three-row body on a larger frame. Both options are still superior to the unibody crossover in this regard with better cargo and passenger space all around.
slow when loading. I never felt that the GLS 450 was underpowered when I drove it in 2019, the 3.0-liter twin-turbocharged inline-6. With 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque, offers more than enough power for everyday driving situations. But what was even stranger was loading seven people with luggage and heading to higher ground. With passengers and cargo the GLS 450 did struggle a bit as some of the whining and whirring of the six cylinders forced me to bury my feet a little deeper into the accelerator pedal than usual. If you typically travel at this altitude with a passenger in tow, perhaps consider the 483 horsepower GLS 580 model. Not the most efficient. At just 18 miles per gallon, 7.6 kilometers per liter, city, 24 on the highway, and 20 combined at its most efficient, the GLS is hardly the fuel saver of the group. In comparison, the X7 and Audi Q7 both offer a better 2 mpg combined, and even the larger Escalade offers a combined 23 mpg, 9.7 kilometers, L, if you opt for diesel.